in verse 1 of Revelation 21, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the former heaven and the former earth had passed away. Now notice, and the sea is no more. Well, the sea is no more. What are we talking about here? Well, that uh, means that after Armageddon, there's no more sea. Well, obviously, that's not literal with the oceans or the seas there. That's the demon-agitated sea of wicked mankind. Gone. But it's not gone yet. See? And just like in literal wars, submarines are used, sneak up on the ships. Well, Satan's same way. Him and his demon horde. Uh, so he's going to use any means he can to try to wreck our ship. It's an individual one-on-one -on -one with Jehovah. And, you know, many of you, I look out, see you couples that are very close, love each other. Well, you know your mate, for those of you who are married, has to have this kind of relationship with their father, Jehovah. Everybody does. You know, unless you're a toddler, then you're going to be in God's hands uh, if you're parents or witnesses, that's a good chance you'll be okay. So this is war. That's the point. This is war. And it's not going to get easier. We're watching governing body member Tony Morris giving a war cry at the 2022 annual meeting of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of Pennsylvania. Yes, this is war. Never mind the compassion that Jeffrey Jackson spoke about in his previous talk on the program. No, apparently, the gloves are off. Jehovah's Witnesses should look forward to the sea being no more. The sea being everyone who's not a Jehovah's Witness. Wicked mankind. Because as we all know, if you don't acknowledge the authority of Tony Morris and his colleagues, if you don't accept that they are conspicuously wise and humble and have been handpicked by the creator of the universe as a channel with mankind, if you don't accept any of that, you must be wicked. Actually, if I'm being honest, that isn't particularly wicked. It would be weird, in my opinion, to look at this oaf, <laughs> this bumbling buffoon, and say, ah yes, he's clearly been handpicked by the Creator to convey his wisdom to mankind. You'd have to have something a little bit off, or let me put it another way, you'd have to be indoctrinated, preferably from youth, from when you were very, very small, to come to that conclusion. You're certainly not going to come to that conclusion if your first encounter with Tony Morris or Jehovah's Witnesses is to watch this video. You'd surely find that proposition ridiculous, which it is. But if we're talking about wickedness and the need to get rid of it, I think we've seen an excellent example of true wickedness in what Tony Morris says here. You know, your mate, for those of you who are married, has to have this kind of relationship with their father, Jehovah. Everybody does. You know, unless you're a toddler, then you're going to be in God's hands. Uh, if your parents are witnesses, that's a good chance you'll be okay. If you're a toddler, you're going to be in Jehovah's hands. If your parents are witnesses, there's a good chance you're going to be okay. Jehovah apparently wants to kill babies and is about to kill babies and is even potentially going to be killing some Jehovah's Witness babies because 
he leaves even that ambiguous. There's a good chance that a toddler is going to be okay if their parents are Jehovah's Witnesses. All bets are off. If the parents aren't Jehovah's Witnesses, then the toddler deserves to die or may well deserve to die. If you think about it, it would make very little sense, let's say hypothetically that Armageddon were to happen, it would make very little sense for Jehovah to slaughter all adult non-Jehovah's Witnesses and leave behind their children, their babies, and expect their children to spend the rest of eternity praising the monster who has slaughtered their parents. 